hi everyone welcome back to your channel in this tutorial I'm going to explain that how you can install a PostgreDB so if you are interested in this topic please stay with me until end uh, first you would need to download the package of, package of the PostgreDB in that case you can search in Google PostgreSQL and after that uh, you will find this website postgresql.org which is the official website of the postgres then come to the download and open this page of download when you open this uh, page you will see different environment as a linux mac windows solaris and so on so my case is windows i'm going to click on windows and then download the installer uh, so for my case I'm going to use the version 16.4 because this version which currently now is using as a, a release for the test is not finalized so I'm going to use this version so you just need to click on that one and then automatically it will download the file so I will pause the video and after the file has downloaded then we'll get back to you okay I have downloaded the file and as you can see it will uh, come as a one package here so I'm going to run as an administrator and then just a few seconds it will be run okay then click on the next this is the default directory you can change if you are not happy with this uh, address then again keep it as a default whatever is asking and data directory okay here you have to define the one password which is important please keep in your mind if you forgot that the password then there is no solution to retrieve this password and then you have to reinstall again so maybe you can select a, a simple password or write it down somewhere so for my case because it's just only for purpose of the test i don't care i will use the very simple password then you would need to select the port if that port already occupied then you can change the port but by default is this port uh, keep it as a default and the next and next so it's going to uh, install all the packages uh, I will pause the video again after all this process is completed then we'll get back to you okay guys after all this process is completed this came to this page is giving you that uh, setup is finished so for this part is asking for uh, extra applications or driver which we don't need it we will unclick this part and finish so now the post grip part is already done and is completed but for the db we want to for example uh, check the db we need a pg admin so let's get back to the uh, google and find how we can uh, download the pg admin okay here we can write then pg admin and it will navigate to the pg admin.org this is the official website and it's going to this page as a download page and you can see pg admin 4 again there are so many uh, environment so i'm going to select the windows and it will navigate 
me to this page and I'm going to select the, the latest version. After that, it will jump to this page and you can see there are two files, but you have to select the, the high volume. You can see 286 megabyte. Uh, so I'm going to select this one. Automatically, it will be it will download the file, and you can see here in top right corner is going to be download. So I'm pausing the video, and after that, I will get back to you. Okay, file has been downloaded, and I drop in, in this folder for convenience. Again, run as administrator and okay install for all user next i accept next again default directory next and install so it's now installing it seems it's so fast to be installed just to wait a few seconds uh this process to be done okay i will pause the video and then i will get back to you okay now after that process completed then it will come to this page finish and now you have the the postgre db and also pg admin so now you need to search the PG admin. Uh, I am running this PG admin. I selected from the taskbar and now starting the PG admin. It took, uh, I think, a few seconds. Yes. Okay. Now this is the PG admin. And here you have the server so you would need to select or enter the password for the user post gray I'm going to save the password here you go then you can see you have already because I installed the post gray SQL 16 and it will show you the postgre 16 here and here the database and so on so uh okay i think uh we are done for this tutorial in next tutorial we will explain that how we can uh connect with the the data database and also create the table and so on Thank you for watching this video and if you like this uh, tutorial, please don't forget to like button and also if you have any question, drop in the comment below. See you in next one.